Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at a cheap Chinese portable DVD player. Now these little DVD players have been around for a long time now, they're quite old hat. I remember us buying a couple of these for the kids years ago and they were very handy for long journeys on holidays, especially in the back of the car where they were a godsend to keep the kids quiet. However they were always a little bit heavy on batteries. And things have moved on now, so why would you want to buy one of these when you've got iPads and laptops that can play DVDs just as well? And you kind of imagine this idyllic situation with the kids like taking care of your brand new iPad. However, reality isn't that simple, and I'm afraid kids are just heavy handed and they drop things. They don't mean to do it, it just happens, and suddenly you're looking at an iPad or Samsung screen repair, and that's probably around about 70 to 80 pounds or over a hundred dollars. And it's really no better with a laptop, it'll get broken just the same. With a laptop it might be even worse because this might be something that your kids actually want to use for school as well. And this is going to be a nightmare when it doesn't work. So this is where one of these little cheap portable DVD players actually makes quite good sense. And with advances in today's technology, not only do you get a bigger screen for your money, but these portable DVD players will also play movies from actual secure digital cards and actual USB sticks. In fact, this one we're looking at here today actually comes with an analog TV tuner, which may be of some use depending on which country you live in. So how cheap are they? Well, they're actually pretty cheap. This DB Power model cost me £40 on eBay, but I have noticed that the seller has since increased the price up to 46 but that's still pretty cheap. Now I'm not quite sure why he's done this, because he has other models which look to be pretty much the same features and they're just £40 on his site. So it's worth having a look around on eBay, there's plenty of these actual Chinese DVD players about. So this is the one I bought, this is a 9.8 inch model. And it comes quite nicely packed in a nice box. You get quite a few accessories actually for your money. We'll be having a look at some of those later, but importantly you get the two actual charging options. One is a mains charger and one is that all important car charger because the battery would only last between two and three hours so you're going to need that if you've got kids in the back of the car. Now being a Chinese product I'm always a little bit picky about the instructions but I'm pleased to say this one is actually written in proper English, something you can understand. So if you have a quick look at the specs you'll see that it's compatible with most DVD formats although this is not a Blu-ray player. It also supports MP3 and WMA. You can use it to display pictures but only in JPEG format. It has an MP3 CD copy function, a built-in FM radio, and a TV function, but that's analog only, so here in the UK that's no longer viable. And importantly, it also has an anti-shock feature. Now one extra which I find a little curious is this rather cheap looking gamepad, and this CD that comes with the unit that claims to have 300 games, so we'll certainly be taking a look at that later. So straight out of the box, well do you know what? The unit doesn't actually look too bad. Yeah, it has that sort of cheap, snappy kind of feeling plastic about it, but it actually looks quite nice. All the controls are actually on the unit. The uh, All the buttons are quite tactile. They don't feel too bad. It feels like it's actually going to sort of last quite well in the hands of kids. So first impressions are actually pretty good. I mean, these things have come down a hell of a lot in price, but you seem to be getting quite a lot for your money. Now, most of your connections are actually on the right-hand side of the unit. And it's quite good to note that this actually has an AV out feature as well. So if you were going on holiday, when you actually get there, you could plug this into a much larger screen. So it might have some use there. On the other side of the unit, you have your TV antenna input, which is unfortunately analog only, and an actual input for the gaming device. On the front, you have a simple charge light and an infrared port. And it's worth noting that the remote control is a full size unit, not one of those sort of cheap credit card size affairs that you normally get. The screen itself is a nice size, just under 10 inches, and actually is very bright, and it has a good viewing angle, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Now one good feature of this portable DVD player is that the screen actually rotates. It rotates 270 degrees, which allows you to kind of use it as a big kind of chunky tablet affair. But there is a disadvantage with this, is that when you actually fold the screen back, you can't actually get to any of the actual buttons on the unit itself. So you are kind of forced to use the remote control. So possibly ergonomically, I think they may have missed a trick here. It would be nice to actually maybe just put a couple of buttons for pause and play on the actual side of the unit. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this screen has some pretty good viewing angles. 
And this is what let the earlier players down. As you changed the angle, the screen would sort of blacken out, go slightly purpley in colour. This one's absolutely fine. So along with the ability to actually completely rotate the screen, I can use it in a tablet format. I think this is actually a, quite a good design of player. So I'll now try to show you how it looks playing a movie, but bearing in mind, obviously, I'm using a 720p camera. Now any kind of moye effect or lines you see over the screen, well that's actually down to the LCD camera that I'm using. It's actually not visible on the screen at all when you're watching a movie. actually very good it's quite clear now you know to be fair we're not talking kind of 1080p sort of iPad standard it's probably only about 720p but it's certainly good enough yeah. can I borrow your laptop yeah of course so also worth a mention is the sound quality well playing through the actual unit speakers yeah it's a little tinny I mean think laptop quality but to be honest it's absolutely fine and then uh, they say they're always gonna call so what about this little gamepad that came with the unit and also that disc that claims to have 300 games well we've got to check those out haven't we so the question is are these going to keep a sort of typical six to eight year old child happy on a long journey and the answer is well let's be honest no because on this disc yeah, you do get 300 games, there are a lot of games, but what you're talking about is sort of the old 8 to 16 bit games, you know, ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64. Now I have to be honest, I had quite a nostalgia trip with these games, this sort of took me way back to my own sort of like early teens, and I had quite a bit of fun playing these. But if you introduce say, you know, a 6 to 8 year old to these games, well they're not going to really be that impressed. Because once they get past the extremely naff graphics, these games are actually quite hard. You generally only got a few lives, and well... Nowadays, sort of kids want more instant gratification with their games, and they're going to find these games way too hard to hold their attention. So it's probably more likely mum and dad that will actually maybe get this thing out when you actually get to your holiday destination, because you can plug it into a larger screen, of course. So it'll probably keep mum and dad amused after dinner, but for kids, well, no, probably not. But I might be wrong, hey, who knows? But as an extra, just kind of thrown into a £40 DVD player, the disc is certainly worth having. I mean, there are a lot, a lot of games on here. Yeah, some of them are pretty naff, and some of them rip off of kind of like older kind of like Atari games and things. But even so, there's a little freebie chucked in. Yeah, it's definitely worth having, and a little gamepad works fine. So to sum up, overall, you get quite a lot for your money here. And the DVD player itself is fine, even the sound's pretty good. Well, it's a pity about this little TV tuner thing. I mean, if this had been maybe digital, it'd have been more use because analog's no good anymore. But of course, you do get the important actual car adapter. Although maybe the lead could be a little bit longer if your actual cigarette lighter is actually in the front of the car. But it's nice to see that the unit has got a proper AV out, so that when you get to your holiday destination, you can always plug this thing into a bigger TV. So I think to sum up, I think this is great value for money. I mean, it's almost got a 10-inch screen. It's very clear picture, very good sound. It's actually not a bad-looking unit, really. So I think this will get the uh, Fred in the Shed thumbs up. It's certainly perfect to sort of take away on a holiday with the kids. But this unit itself is actually going to my father-in-law, who's a pensioner, so he can actually watch his DVDs on the mood. And I think it'll be perfect for him. I think he'll be quite happy with it. So I think that's about it, that's about all I can say. If you like this kind of thing, well please feel free to subscribe to my channel because I'll always be reviewing these sort of cheap Chinese things. Anyway, just for now, I'd like to say, thanks for watching.
and I'll catch you all later. Bye bye now.